I'm in Calhoun County talking with Angus Lafay, who's a forester, about a special tree he found. Angus, tell us what you were doing out here and where exactly in Calhoun County we are. We're in Calhoun County, just outside of Fort Mott, and where, where we're standing is about 50 feet from the Congaree River. And the reason that I came to the, where the tree is, is I was building a road to get into the bottomland so that we could control a hog population. But you saw this big tree and it just kind of jumped out at you? Well, it, it, I was put, when I put the road right by it, I noticed this big tree and I was trying to figure out exactly what kind of tree it was. And at first, I, it, the, look, foresters judge big trees by bark. And I looked at the bark and I said, well, it must be a maple. And then I looked up. And then you I, looked up. <laughs> I looked up and it, they are not, they were not maple leaves. So I said that this is something that, you know, I had to think about it a little bit. I said, those are locust leaves but I had never seen a locust that was uh, three feet in diameter or 30 inches in diameter. The biggest one I'd seen was in a hedgerow about 12 inches in diameter. That's a big difference. It's a tremendous difference. And, and so anyhow, I, I, when, when we got all the road built, I brought the owner down here and, and I, we went over to look at the tree and I said, Dick, this is, this is some type of locust. I don't know what it is, it's the biggest one that I'd ever seen, I, I, you know. And what you need to do is get John Seeley to come down here and identify the species of locust that it is. And fortunately, we have John Seeley today, uh, yeah. and I think I'm gonna let him take up the story from there. Okay, very good, that's, that, that's great. I'm talking to John Seeley, a well-known naturalist in South Carolina and John is known for his tree identifying skills, so this is the person they went to to find out about this tree. John, tell me about coming down and looking at the tree. What'd you think? Well, I got excited when I heard about this great big locust that uh, Angus found in uh, three feet in diameter and uh, came down here and, uh, you know, we found some pods and, and uh, the fruit in the pod is really sweet and uh, has a really interesting fragrance behind it and uh, the wildlife love it. So, uh, but yeah, we determined this to be a honey locust. There was one thing missing on it though, wasn't there? Well, there were no thorns on it. And um, I surmise that, that these very large honey locusts probably lose their thorns eventually. It seems like only the young, smaller trees will have a thorn. And it's a pretty it. impressive thorn. It is a very impressive thorn. It'll hurt you if you get close to it. And you've got kind of an interesting theory about why that might be that the smaller ones have them and the larger well, ones once they're so firmly established. I, you know, the article that you did in, in the DNR magazine, South Carolina Wildlife, talked about the uh, protection from uh, elephants back 10,000 years ago when we we had elephants roaming around South Carolina and other herbivores that would try to get the pods and uh, damage the tree and the thorns supposedly protected the, the tree from those herbivores. And this fellow that we've looked at down here so big you couldn't hurt him. If you but the, to. yeah, the, this big guy, probably even an elephant couldn't push that one over. So maybe the it's an age related thing perhaps. Y'all thought this might be worthy of submitting to a group that looks after big trees. Right, so tell right. me the name yeah. of that group and what you had to do as far as measurements and all well, that. Well, there's a, a, every state just about has their own uh, big tree list. And typically it's the land grant forestry school that's the keeper of the big list. In this case is Clemson. Retired forestry professor Vic Shelburne is the keeper of the list. And anybody uh, can submit uh, what they think is a champion tree to uh, to Clemson, and um, it's based on three dimensions, the circumference, the height, and the crown spread. Most honey locusts are, as Angus says, 12 inches in diameter or so, and this guy to be three feet in diameter and 105 feet tall. Just amazing, amazing tree. It's so big, I think Angus said he thought it was a red maple at first. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just an incredible tree. And you think where it's growing has something to do with the size that it is? Achieved. I think these these big honey locusts tend to be uh, do 
do best in these bottom lands where it's nice fertile soil. It gets abundant moisture, but it doesn't get too wet. And uh, you go out in the Mississippi Delta, some of the ones out there get up to like five feet in diameter. Well, you think that this one may be a national champion? It could be. Uh, we did, Angus and we did submit it to the national uh, champion tree list. And uh, I think there's, it's still winding its way through their bureaucracy perhaps, but it could possibly be a national champion. Well, I want to thank you for identifying the tree and for telling us about it today. Okay, my pleasure. Enjoyed being with you.